Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burquest. Today we're talking about the NFL, we're talking about our hometown Vikings. Finally have a franchise quarterback, yes. we hope, we believe. Teddy Bridgewater, did he do enough this year to win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Do we think he's got it? I know in Minnesota yeah. we like him, but should he win it? I don't think he, he's going to win it, personally. As much as I'd love to say Teddy wins it, in my heart he won it, but I don't think in the media's heart he won it. I don't think he did enough. Um, was it flashy enough, I guess, to get that Rookie of the Year as much as we saw his progression throughout the year. That's the key is we saw his progression. Yeah. Because we sat and watched every Vikings yep. game because we're in Minnesota. Nationally, they didn't watch every, yep. so they just look at the final stats. Yep. They just look at the wins, losses. And unfortunately, for a quarterback, the wins and losses mean almost more than the numbers do. Yeah. We're in agreement, I think, that Odell Beckham will probably win it. I think so. He plays in New York. Yep. He has good numbers. Outstanding numbers, especially for only 11 And he, 11 and he had that one big catch yeah. in prime time that blew Every, up yeah. the internet and everybody was excited about. Great, phenomenal catch. Flashy, he'll probably win it. So I guess if you look at the questions, will he versus should he? Should he win it? Should, should Teddy win it? I know you're I saying think, he won't. Yeah. You're saying he won't, but should he? I, I think he should. If, if, if someone was, were to sit down and watch Teddy's games, a lot of the national media hasn't sat down and watched what, what, yeah. what we've seen. Um, if you were to sit down and watch what Teddy's done, it's pretty astounding to yeah. watch his progression without our team MVP, without three-fifths of the offensive line, without our Pro Bowl tight end, and without much of a receiver to speak of. Our best receiver is yeah. sign up the practice squad in week two. Yeah. So, I mean, to watch what he's done, and so many of his stats don't show in the stat line, um, of what he does, and he's had so many bad breaks. Every yeah. quarterback has bad breaks, but he he's had quite a few. If you sit down and watch his games, where his picks are, a lot of them are not his fault, and he's had a couple touchdowns taken away from that would really make his stats jump out. In Minnesota, we like to make these excuses for him. Yep. Like he doesn't have Adrian Peterson, Kyle Rudolph was her first year head coach, all the different things. If you just looked at it as, and this is what I would challenge anyone that's not a Vikings fan that hasn't watched it, you looked at it as, how many games did the Vikings win last year? Yep. And now, what did they do this year with a rookie quarterback? Yeah. He's a rookie quarterback with a team that didn't win that many games. And that's, forget how good we thought they were going to be with with Adrian Peterson, with Kyle Rudolph, with um, you Castle. Know, Castle or whoever we thought we were going to have. Yeah. Deal, yeah. Um, he did pretty good with a team that people picked to maybe win four, four three, games. four, five games. Yeah. I mean, the over-under was six in Vegas, and they did that. To go over without Adrian Peterson. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to say, yeah, Teddy Bridgewater should. Especially playing the hardest And position. here's why I'm going to say he will. Because Odell Beckham had a very good year, but so did Sammy Watkins. Mike Evans. So did Mike Evans. Kelvin Benjamin. A lot of receivers had yeah. good numbers. There's a very good receiver class. I don't think his numbers, and I don't think his year was that much better than everybody else's. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater is by far the best of that quarterback class, and he sure. plays the most important position in probably all of sports. Yeah. So I think Teddy Bridgewater should, and if you're listening, whoever votes, Teddy Bridgewater absolutely should be the Offensive Rookie of the Year. I agree. It would be a very big mistake if it goes to Odell Beckham just because he plays in New York. Yep, for sure. Agreed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.